All right. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakah Kodash, double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. This is the brother Atazari from GMS Houston. Coming with a quick hit. All right, I was watching the elder apostle Aram uh, Salaki uh, Gabor's uh, last lesson about this warning. All right, and he had brought out uh, Psalms 19. So um, when he brought it out, something in the spirit that hit me, I was like, so I went back and I was reading it and um, just decided to do a quick hit on it. All right, so this is Psalms 19, and I'm going to jump down to the seventh verse. All right, it says, Psalms 19 and 7, the law of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, is perfect. All right, converting the soul, okay? The testimony of the Lord is sure, all right, making wise the simple, okay, because we was all simple at one time, all right, and this this truth, these words are what made us, you know, wise, okay, and the next line says, and it also says that in um, Proverbs, the first chapter, all right, um, starting at the top okay so psalms 19 and 8 it says the statutes of the lord are right okay this it says rejoicing the heart meaning your mind it says the commandments of the lord is pure all right is they not mixed okay they're 100 percent pure all right they're holy okay enlightening okay the eyes and our eyes have been enlightened okay through this truth which is Yahweh Shai he is the light okay it says in verse 9 the fear of the Lord is clean you see enduring forever the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether it says more to be desired are they Okay, than gold, yea, than much fine gold. And I, when when he read that, I was like, damn, man, you know, because I haven't read this a thousand times. But when he read, I was like, man, because you think about that. I mean, really sit there and think about that. How mesmerized, especially, you know, how, especially Jake, man, okay. Now, Esau liked to get that gold and hoard it up. Oh, man. Right now, it's what, 1147? I'm here in Texas. And I just happened to glance up out the window. Okay. And the moon is coming up. And it is glowing orange, huge. Like, I wish I could take a picture and send it. Okay. Anyway grab my glasses yeah they man the signs in of the heavens man okay um you know you saw get that gold and hoard it up you know and they they'll rock they'll do anything to get the gold you know um and then i thought about like jake and gold man you know looking at hell Matter of fact, there's such a thing called gold fever, okay? Um, and anybody can go look that up and go into the history of gold fever, man. It's mesmerizing, okay, how desirable gold is, okay? Um, I know always, uh, my whole, well, probably, well, I'll say my adult life, you know, ever since I was old enough, 13 on up. 12, 13 on up, I've always dealt with gold and silver, okay, and looking at gold has, I've always had gold jewelry, you know, and um, I would deal gold, like when I was back in the world, like if I was short on money, I would always get jewelry from, I'd just be straight, I used to get jewelry from uh, like addicts, you know, they would sell jewelry for money, you know, and I'd buy the jewelry and I'd take it to his 
this guy out of in the next uh city and go sell it, you know, to get the money. You know, get more money than what uh I paid for it, okay? And I'd always do that, you know, and dealing with gold, especially with gold, you just sit there and look at it, man, you know, and you know how Jake is with gold, man. Okay. Gold is very desirable. All right. That's that's pretty much the point I want to get. Okay, like the scripture said, it is, let me read it again, it says, more to be desired are they than gold, all right? And then you think about the gold, you know, 10, 14K, what Jake mostly deals with, all right, mostly 10, 10 carat, which ain't even pure gold, you know, is a very desirable thing, Okay. And I used to just sit there and fool with it for hours on end, man. You know, have gold coins and stuff like that, and rings and uh, earrings and, you know, um, necklaces, bracelets, watches, and just sit there and just, you know, I'd put them on and, you know, just look at the stuff. But it's very, uh, it's a very desirable substance, okay, a very desirable element. Okay, gold. All right. But the scripture is saying that, matter of fact, let me go back up. It says the statutes, matter of fact, the law of the Lord, the law. All right. Um, his statutes, commandments um, are to be desired more than fine gold. Okay. And when the apostle read that, I was like, man, yeah, because gold is a very desirable substance, okay? Wars have been um, started behind gold. Hell, the, the, the uh, world currency is so-called backed, you know, supposedly backed by gold. Okay, all the world currencies are supposedly backed by gold. Now, they do have more currency in circulation than they have gold, but that's the standard, the gold standard. Okay, They're all the, all this money is based off of how much gold a country has. Just going into, sh just showing um, how precious and desirable gold is okay people there, there was a thing called the gold rush okay people packed up and moved their whole families uh to to get from one side of the america to the other okay to get to california going through rough terrain losing their lives losing family members a lot of them didn't even find nothing you know but they still went in pursuit to get that goal. All that to say that the law, statutes, and commandments in the fear of the Lord is to be desired more than fine gold, okay? Gold and fine gold. All right, let me say that and what the scriptures say. So let me read Psalms 19 and 10 again. I talked enough. All right, Psalms 19 and 10. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much, much, <laughs> okay? And like I was talking about the little stuff I dibbled and dabbled in, that wasn't nothing, okay? It says then much fine gold. Imagine you bring four uh, bricks of 0.999 fine gold and, and sit them in front of Jake, man. Or anybody, really. They'll go nuts, okay? It says... Um, the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether, which in con. It says, more to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Hey, I got a jar of real honey in my car, okay? And I take a shot of that here at least once a day, okay? And it is definitely very sweet. Okay, and uh, delicious, 
okay, it's good, but it's not better than, than this word, man, okay? Um, verse 11, Psalms 19 and 11 says, moreover, by them, okay, is thy servant warned, you see? And in keeping them, there is a, there is great reward, okay? There's a, there's a great reward for keeping them, okay? The reward is greater than anything you could think. Eternal life in righteousness in the kingdom, man. It's not, it's not even a, a close comparison, okay? It's not even a close comparison because by doing this, and getting that reward, all of those things that are mentioned, the fine gold, the honeycomb, the, the honey, all those things will be added. Okay, that's going to come along with that reward in verse 11. You see? So, yeah, man. This, this, is, what, this is where it's at. The fear of the Lord, his law, statutes, and commandments, man. Okay? Um... And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to touch on that because it touched my spirit, you know. And um, and I'm going to end it right there. Lord willing, it was edifying, okay. Um, this truth is it, man. There's nothing, nothing else, all right. This is it, okay. And this succeeds any and everything you could think of, okay. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Hashem, Rechah, Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. It's on to the next one. Until then, I say shalom.